How good is the Tokimori MP5 SD NGRS? As many of you know, I have a strong dislike for automatic electric airsoft guns. Sure, they are, generally speaking, a reliable platform that delivers solid performance, but for me, frankly, they sound like sewing machines. They have no drama about them when they're being used. They just have no feeling. It's not a visceral experience. It's why I tend to stick to bolt actions and gas blowback. So, what am I doing here with a Tokimori AEG? Well, this is a little bit different. It's an NGRS, which stands for Next Gen Recoil System. What that means is this AEG promises recoil and a more engaging experience while also boasting Tokimori's famous reliability and consistency. But more on that later. First of all, everyone is going to want to know how does it shoot? So let's get it chronoed. 253. 254. and 253, a rather underwhelming 0.75 joules. By any standard, that's pretty low, so surely it's gonna be lacking some range and accuracy. Uh, let's see, I'm standing 25 meters from a chest-sized target. First of all, all single shots. Now, bear in mind, I'm using iron sights here. Let's flick it to three shot burst. Three shot burst, now that's a pretty cool feature. Let's test the full auto. And that's an entire mid cap and not a single miss BB. At 25 meters, that's pretty impressive. Now this is a cool feature you don't get on a normal electric gun. See how it won't fire when the mag is empty. I have to cock the charging handle to get it to shoot again. And if there are no BBs in the mag, it stops firing again. Very cool, and having reloaded, I need to pull that charging handle back again to get it working. Another mid-cap rattled off, and not a single BB misses the target at 25 metres. Impressive. I've got to talk about the build quality. It's really solid. There's no creaks or rattles. It's a really good piece of kit. It feels like you're handling quality. Okay, we're going to need to talk about the recoil on this. The NGRS system has a weighted piston that adds recoil to the gun when it's firing. Now, it's not a heavy recoil like on some gas blowback systems, but it is noticeable. And importantly, it adds to the experience of using this toy. Honestly, this really is quite a lot of fun to use. And there we go, another empty mag. And while I reload, have you noticed the chest rig I'm wearing? I got hold of this after I sent one of my ghillie suits to an account on Instagram that I follow and enjoy. His account is called Night Fighter, and when he got hold of my ghillie suit, he sent me this in return as kind of a present swap. Honestly, it's one of the coolest bits of kit I own. It's very lightweight while still holding 10 MP5 mags. It works with my Mac 10 mags as well, and he also does a version for M4 and other platforms. Very smart piece of kit. Right, let's test the long range capabilities of the MP5. Laser range finder tells me we are just over 50 meters away. It's going to be hard with the iron sights, but let's see what she can do. Now bear in mind this is shooting at 0.75 joules. This is really impressive. Look at the flight path of the BB, that's, that's perfect. Now I need to say at this point that I have swapped out the barrel and hop rubber on this MP5. My friend Jager Precision installed a nine ball barrel and rubber and it has made an improvement to the grouping and the flight path of the BB. It is noticeable but it's not a dramatic difference. It is a very very good gun out of the box and it is only slightly improved after these upgrades now in terms of maximum range this is this is just about it when i look at the target after testing bbs they were they were landing about four or five meters behind it and i reckon with some lobbing i probably could be hitting 60 meters but i think 
realistically 50 meters is the maximum effective range now so far i've been using mid caps i'm not sure what the exact capacity is i think it's around 75 or maybe 70 bbs now this may sound like a lot but it goes pretty fast if you're using this thing on full auto now high caps are available and they hold 250 bbs you need to pull the bbs in and then you manually wind them up uh, so let's see how one of those high caps feeds and how much manual winding needs to be done to fully empty it. At this point, it's stopped feeding. The clockwork mechanism has, has run out. Let's take a look at how many BBs are left inside. Hmm, not many, actually. It's, it's almost empty, and honestly, that's, that's pretty impressive. Usually, with high caps, you have to wind them up a few times to fully empty them. Now, Tokyo Marui mags are pretty expensive, but you're going to get what you pay for here, and these high cap mags are a good example of that. Almost emptying 250 BBs with one wind of the mechanism. Pretty cool. So... What do I think of the Tokyo Marui NGRS overall, and should you buy one? Well, they do come in at a relatively expensive 550-ish, maybe 525 pounds, and we can't ignore that price tag. But for that, you're not just getting a reliable toy with incredible build quality that shoots accurately with good range. It also gives you a physical experience that may not match a good gas blowback system, but it does come pretty close. You do feel the recoil, and you have to cock that charging handle after it stops shooting on empty and the sound of it as well it's it's pretty cool unlike almost all other AEGs it, it sounds good it sounds yeah it sounds pretty meaty it doesn't sound like a sewing machine now the only downside i found of this um, mp5 is is the power it, it's lacking and you're going to need to use three round burst and possibly full auto function to be getting people to take their hits once you get past 30 40 meters the bbs aren't going to be hitting with much impact at all so yeah the tokyo Mori mp5 ngrs do i recommend it 100 percent, i do yes and although it is a good couple hundred quid more expensive than mid-price standard aegs it is in my opinion worth pretty much every penny of that it may not be the best at everything uh, it may not be the best at anything, but uh, you are getting something that is very good at everything, and you're going to be getting very reliable performance. You know, going back to the consistency, like there was like one, two FPS consistency on the shots. That's incredible for an AEG. Um, and also, importantly, it's a lot more fun to use than its competitors. And that's how I describe this gun fun. And if you look past its relatively low power, it's hard to find anything negative to say about the Tokyo Marui MP5 SD NG RS.